If you are going to sell your computer to someone else, but don't want anyone else to see your personal files and settings, then this video is for you. Hi, my name is Malik, I've been working with computers for 20 years, and I enjoy making videos that help people solve some common computer problems. Your Windows 10 computer has a built-in feature that allows you to simply press a few buttons and safely reset Windows completely. So, click on the Start button, then select Settings. In the search box, just type the word Reset, and you will see Reset this computer. Click on that. A window will open, and here you see Get Started. So go ahead and click that, and then you will be taken to this screen choose an option. The first one, keep my files. This means that this function removes applications and settings, but keeps your personal files and if you have documents and desktop items, and personal files and folders this option will not remove them. But if you have already backed up everything, then the next option deletes all your personal files, apps and settings, and we click on it. The system prepares several things, and on the page that opens, we see the question, how would you like to reinstall Windows? There are two options, download from the cloud, or local reinstallation. If the Windows operating system on your computer is working fine, you haven't had any problems, or you have a slow internet connection and don't want to wait long, you can do a local reinstall and it will use the files already on your computer. But if you have a broadband high-speed connection, you can get a new copy of the Windows 10 version, and this may be a better option. Here we must select additional options from these settings. Click, change settings. In the window that opens, we can choose to completely erase the data, this can be done in case someone else logs into the computer with a data recovery program, then he will not be able to restore your files and data on the disk. This may take a few hours, but will prevent someone else from recovering your files, I click, yes. Download and install Windows, yes. Click, confirm. The system offers to return to additional settings again, we click, next. Before you press reset, read the upcoming changes carefully and if you are not sure, press, cancel, I press, reset. And now we just have to wait a little bit. It takes quite a while for Windows to load, reinstall and clean the disk, but the best thing to do is just let it run, forget about it for a while and come back later. During the process, your computer will automatically restart several times. Okay. We've reached the last step of resetting the computer, and now let's choose your region. Now the keyboard layout, yes. Skip. This will be a home PC. Next. This is where you can enter your Microsoft account details or make a new account. But if you want to give the computer to someone else, make a local account and click, here. Now it asks who will be using this PC. If it's family or a friend and you want to enter their name, you can do that. Otherwise, just enter something generic. Just admin, or whatever. Next. The system asks for a password. I recommend not entering a password yet, and then you won't have to enter security questions. Next. And for privacy, I'll just accept all these settings. The new Windows welcomes us. And here's the Windows desktop, now this looks really good. Remember, I used to have folders, files with lots of data files, and now there's nothing here. If I open the Explorer, let's look for other files and other places where I had data. So the first desktop, as we already know, is empty. Downloads. Empty documents. Empty pictures. Nothing, except the standard folders that are there when you reboot Windows. Music. Empty video folder. Empty everywhere except system folders. So Windows actually did a good job on all of this. If this information helped you, please like my video and subscribe to my channel, and I plan to make more videos in the near future. Thank you very much for watching my video, have a nice day.